it up, y'all. Now, we're going to talk about this guy named Kevin Lee. All right? And about these Atlanta restaurants. Y'all know I live in Atlanta? And let's talk about this. All right? So, I want to go on straight to the video so we can look at this video, y'all. And then I'm going to tell y'all about my experiences living here in Atlanta and all that and all the stuff he going through, it, which is silly to me. So, let's take a look at the video, y'all. My family are in Atlanta and currently we are at the Real Milk and Honey. I got it. Let's try it and rate it 1 through 10. As you can see, I don't have any bag in my hands. We are at the Real Milk and Honey on Main Street and College Park. Before we came, we attempted to call our order in. We were greeted with an automatic message that said they do not take call-in orders. The automatic message said the only way you can do pickup is through DoorDash. We went through DoorDash, they was closed. But online, it said they closed at 5 o'clock. We went on DoorDash at 4 o'clock. But we were already here, so we just went inside. I stayed in the car and my family went in and they told them they were closed early for deep cleaning. Yet, the door is wide open and it's people still going in and grabbing their orders. Now, we have no idea if those people ordered beforehand or what the case is. Also, the people who relayed this message, my family said were really nice. It's just the rules. And so far being in Atlanta, I found some places do have unique rules and this is one of them. I want to be very clear, we're not blaming one person or saying one person was rude. In plain terms, don't call this restaurant trying to get nobody fired. Ain't nobody do nothing. This is just the rules they had. If you don't like their rules, their rules not for you. And for me and my family, the rules just went for us. We just not their target audience. For the record, afterwards, I did walk in and I did recognize and they attended the services but i respectfully declined i'm a normal person i pay for my food like everybody else i walk now what's crazy to me is how this guy is getting threatened for his opinion and that and that, and that figures not even just atlanta it, it anywhere but that stuff is crazy to me because um if you ain't got good service you just ain't get good service but y'all we need to look at that video and we're gonna take a look and then we're gonna discuss all of them okay so let's watch this one about him getting these threats and stuff. It's crazy to me. Okay, let's talk about it. Every restaurant that me and my family go to, we were either A, invited by the restaurant themselves, or B, was told about the restaurant 100 plus times from locals, from people who mention me, from people who email me, DM me. 99% of the time, I never go to a random restaurant. With that being said, my opinion was asked for. So many narratives being pushed, and it's insane to me. But let's be honest, what else do you want from me? If I go to a bunch of restaurants and have a string of good experiences, then I'm being too nice, I'm lying, the narrative is being pushed that my eye roll is fake and I'm lying just to help people. Then on the same hand, if I go to two or three restaurants where I don't have the best experience, now I'm tearing down businesses, now I'm being mean, now I need to shut up, now I need to mind my business, now I need to sit down. Again, I can't win for losing. I understand everybody gonna have an opinion on the situation. You can disagree with me, you cannot like what I say. Completely understand, I'm okay with that. But when my safety and my family's safety start coming into play, that's where I draw the line at. But what can't happen is when my family or the restaurants or anybody's safety start coming into play. It's absolutely overboard. Especially when I was asked to give my opinion. Because you telling me my opinion only matter if it's positive. Because if it's positive, you got my face plastered on the wall and you saying Keith Lee been here. But if it's negative, I need to sit down somewhere and you don't know who I am. That's crazy to me. It was so much positive that happened in Atlanta that was shunned by the negative. It was so many restaurants we was blessed enough to help. We went to an array of restaurants like we always do at every city. I'm going to be 100% transparent, 100% candid. Me and my family will postpone touring if other cities going to be like this. Every review not going to be the best. I'm going to be 100% honest. If you want me to come, please understand, I will be honest. I don't mean no harm. I don't have no malicious intent. I mean that, and when I say it, I mean it. People will be like, well, you know what you're doing. You know if you give a bad review, people are going to come and flood it with hate comments. What else do you want me to do? I'm telling people not to go and leave hate comments. I'm telling people not to leave negative comments. I'm telling people make their own opinions. You want me to lie and say I had a good experience or you want me to only post the videos when I have a positive experience? Then all of the videos I post is only going to be positive experience. Then the narrative is going to be pushing. I'm only trying to be positive and we're going to end up in the same situation. And on top of that, I think something is getting lost in translation. When that happens, the restaurants that we are blessed enough to help won't be helped in the same manner because people won't show up in the same way because my reviews would be inauthentic. One of the reasons people show up the way they do is because they know I'm being honest and I'm giving my personal opinion and my personal perspective on the situation. But if I don't do that anymore, it won't be the three or four hour wait times and now we won't be able to help business owners and we won't be able to give back to the community. In the grand scheme, that's what this is about. It's about giving back. It's about giving back to the community. It's about stimulating the economy. That's what it's about. All the other stuff, I'm a simple man in real life. As long as me and my family are healthy and safe and we can live a comfortable life, I'm straight. Again, it's a double-edged sword. I understand with great power comes great responsibility. God made me for this. I'm built for this. At the end of the day, I just want to eat food, walk in my path. If you want to be on a journey with me, you are more than welcome. If you don't, God bless you. Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. And nobody's safety should be on the line. Not mine, not my family, not the restaurants that we go to. Relax. Like, relax, bro. Like, I understand. I get it. I get it. But at the end of the day, what you want me to do? You want me to lie? I can't do that. 
I'll walk away from everything before I lie. I'm telling you that right now. On 10 toes. Everything. Now, a lot of these, some of these restaurants, I have not, I ain't gonna lie, I have not been to the Milk and Honey and I have not been to um, Old Lady Gang. I had some buddies that's gone. But I've been to a lot of other restaurants. And y'all know I live here in Atlanta. And boy, <laughs> He ain't lying. It ain't even just those restaurants. It's some of the lounges. It's some of everything. But one thing that irritates me is mainly, well, it don't irritate me because there's a lot of out-of-town people. They'll do a little something on Instagram or TikTok and do a little something. And people come in town and they want to go. And it just be crowded lots of times. But I cannot tell you the countless times of places where they'll tell you, um, uh, Oh, like I wanted went to one restaurant and they had I wanted some um fried green tomatoes. Oh, we don't have any fried green tomatoes. Um the truck, something happened with the truck and it's out of season right now and we don't have them. What? What? Out of season? How is green tomatoes out? Okay. Then you go, oh we out of this, we out of that. You wait three or four hours. Okay, a lot of these places is tiny, so people got to understand, a lot of these places are really little. But you get a lot of these people to come in here, and I ain't Gary to you, uh, I, ain't, I mean, I ain't Gary lie to you. A lot of these people that work in there, they kind of hood, you know what I mean? No disrespect to them, because I'm, you know, from the hood, and no disrespect. And some people know how to uh, have good customer service, and some don't. But a lot of that, some of that's not their fault. If SDK, you got paid a million dollars. And I'm going to tell you, I went, I did not care for the experience because you only got the DJ, whatever, whatever. You got a lot of those places like here in Atlanta that you could go have a wonderful time. But they are out of the signature drink. Everything is a la carte. And the cheapest thing was a Brussels sprouts. And it was $30 for some Brussels sprouts. Everything like the steak, just a la carte, ninety dollars. Then they bring you out your food. It's cold. It took you forever to get your food. And like they say, unless you somebody special, um, you gonna sit and wait for every before you even get there. But I did not like that experience. And then I was mad at my buddy for having me even come there. But it was for a friend of ours' birthday, so I'm like, okay. So we went for her. For her birthday but then my buddy wanted to go back again i'm like i told you i don't want to go back there again first of all it's too expensive it's too many places in georgia you can go for less money have the best experience and the best food but a lot of these places is just for clout you know what i'm saying they faking it you gotta go you gotta pay valet for parking parking gonna be about twenty dollars something and you better hope your stuff don't get stole at your car if valet i ain't lying so you don't have nothing in there valuable. I ain't gonna lie, cause one time my buddy had some weed. I ain't gonna lie, it's just some weed and dash. She came back out, one of the ballet guys and stole her weed. And she went off. I know one of y'all stole my I busted out laughing. It was so funny to me. It was so funny to me. If y'all ain't seen, I did a, a little sketch video of it. I promise. You know. But um they Act like they just have this so highfalutin and bougie experience. And all you get is people wanting to be bougie. Fake might get a couple of dollars. Or fake it they get a couple of dollars. But it's real hood and ghetto. I'm just telling you what I know. Um, people get mad. But dude, it's right. I mean, and you go to these restaurants. you waiting for hours and hours and hours. they out of stuff. Uh, the food ain't that good. And they charging you a million dollars for it. And he's right. It's off the clout, the name. Um, they done got a little something they put on Instagram. A person done a little review on it, and then and everybody want to go, and all this and that. And it's it, it, it just don't be all that. I'm going to tell you that for real. I didn't, um, places are tiny. You got, mm, I'm telling you. So you paying for all this to really don't get the best service. I'm not lying. He's not lying. And it's sad that he's getting death threats of stuff that's true. You can't take a, a criticism and he be nice about it. But he ain't lying. It is so true. It is too 
true. Everybody got a business, want a business, and that's good. But they running it like, you know, a one place I wanted to go to, food supposed to be good. But they, it's, what, it's over 100 degrees outside this summer, and they ain't have no air the whole time. They got fans blowing, so you blowing dust and dirt around, everybody food, and they got no, uh, on no air. But everybody supposed to be okay with that? Oh, hey! So we decided, um, I looked at the reviews because we about to go. And my and my son was like, first of all, I don't feel like going to the hood because they're going to have an attitude for one, the customer service. And the air don't work. And I said, yeah, you right about that. He said, I ain't feeling that. And he right. My son right. So bless you, just don't, because it's just real, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want a business and they don't run it right. Everybody don't have Chick-fil-A service. It is what it is. And a lot of it, you know, they don't have the money. Um, they don't have the structure. Um, but they got no, you know, grandma or auntie or uncle is good behind the grill. Or she, her macaroni and cheese is good. And they figure, oh, we could do this. But they don't have the business of the customer service skills. And if you uh, got clout and you got some name, oh, you can get seated. Forget everybody else. Y'all been sitting here four hours. He just walked in. Forget y'all. Y'all come on. We got y'all. I'm telling you, that's what you're going to get in Atlanta at a lot of these places. He's not lying. I promise. I know this offhand for fact at a whole lot of these places. Majority of them that y'all see on Instagram that they uh, are boosting up. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. People can get mad or whatever, but a lot of the more echelon wider establishments everything runs smoothly so we gotta do better our people gotta do better it is what it is people get mad all day i don't give a damn it's my experience i've been living here i'm, I'm from Indiana. i've been living here for going on 17 years and it's exactly what it is and they'd be like, oh, we can't get to y'all yet. Sometimes we opened up, but the kitchen ain't up yet. Oh, one time I went out to eat at, at a place. I ordered wings. I'm waiting on the wings, waiting on the wings. And they all, oh, they, they frozen. The wings is frozen. Give us a minute. And I'm like, what? So I'm waiting and waiting and getting no food ready. And then eventually, over an hour, all your chicken, it's about to come out. About that time, I left. I, they gave me a can, 7-Up. Cause I'm wanting some drink, gave me can seven up. I didn't even open the seven up, so I ain't pay for nothing. I left the can seven up there and left, so I ain't get the chicken wings if they brought them out or not. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff you deal with. So if you come here in so many places, be ready. Probably need to listen to the reviews, y'all. Look at the reviews. It's real. So, guys, tell me what you think. Comments, you know. It is what it is. You can get mad, but that's my experience. And I've been living here, and I've been to a whole lot of different. I ain't been to all the restaurants, but I've been to enough of them, and I know. And then if I've heard of situations about other ones from friends or whatever, so leave your comment, like, subscribe. Until next time, just putting your own game on the restaurants here in Atlanta. You do they line. Peace.